welcome back to another week with the Navigator. That's me, Ryan. We're here in Trenton. Just got dispatched on a load. We're going to Danvers, Massachusetts. Load of beer, so we got to head on over to the brewery and pick that beer up. I'm squinting. The sun's starting to come out. So we got 900 miles to go, and we'll make it there tonight. It's about 9 a.m. Tuesday, the 14th of April, 2020. Alrighty, we made it to the brewery. David just did his check on the trailer. Let's see what we're gonna take up to Massachusetts. All Miller. Miller Lite. We're taking these 18, 12 ounce cans of Miller Lite to North and of Boston. Well, I call it Danvers to North and of Boston, close enough. We're outside of B-Town. Right outside of B-Town. Actually, it's like 10 minutes from where I had the FedEx route. So, we're going to get strapped in, boys and girls, and we're going to get on down the road. We'll catch you somewhere out there. Good morning, everyone. Hear that banging? They're about done unloading us. It's Wednesday morning, the 15th of April, and we are in Danvers, Massachusetts, a suburb of Boston, in my opinion, the greatest city on earth. But I don't want to live here. I think it's a great city on earth, but I don't want to live here. But anyways, we got unloaded. Almost unloaded, I should say. That should have been the last pallet or two taken off or the bulkhead. We got our pre-plan. We're heading 122 miles north, up 93, across the mountains, through the woods, off to Grandma's house, as they say, to Claremont, New Hampshire, to a paper place, to... Pick up some paper, I guess. I don't know. It's a small little thing. Never been there. And, uh, well, we're going to find out. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a great ride through the hills of mountains of New Hampshire. And it's right on the state line of Vermont almost, on the Sugar River, it looks like. So we'll get some footage from the dash camera of going in there. And uh, we're going to take that down to Ohio, somewhere south of Cleveland. We got to deliver that tomorrow. And I've been told it's a high sensitive load. So we'll see what happens. And we'll catch you on down the road. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. You don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream. Until I last breath, every heartbeat. Well, we made it up here to Claremont, New Hampshire. And see where that truck is right there? We got a diagonal back into there, into this old, old paper mill on the Sugar River. So we're gonna check our trailer out now, sweep it, make sure it's all nice and clean for them. Then they're gonna load us up with some product and then we're off to Alliance, Ohio. So stay tuned. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and Found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield Where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game
Thursday morning, guys. What's going on? Well, it's afternoon. I shouldn't say it's morning. Excuse me. It's 12.30. We're in the hometown of the NFL Hall of Fame. That's right. If you guessed it, Canton, Ohio, that's where we are. It's about two miles, if that, up the road from us. We're the pilot here off 77, hanging out, waiting for a load. So, I left you... Hmm. I'm not sure. Driving footage through New Hampshire and Vermont through the mountains. Hopefully that footage came out really well. And hopefully this ain't going to show it's really jiggly on the review. Because I can see my camera going bloop. But anyways, hey. We, um, student drove to Weedsport. I drove from Weedsport. The other 485 miles to the final. And, um, Alliance, Ohio. Got there about... 110 this morning, 115. Shut down, got up 8 o'clock. They put me in the door early. Appointment wasn't until noon, but we don't roll like that. We get our loads delivered early. We get on the road and get on the next one, but there isn't another one, unfortunately. So we're just hanging out, waiting for the load to come through. So I figured I'd do a little checking. Did some cleaning in here. Got my coffee. Did a shower, shave, trimmed the beard. So we're doing good. Living life. And spitting snow. Oh, and the state of New York in a couple days is making us, if we go in the state of New York, we got to wear one of these stupid things. Well, I guess some people, whatever. We're not going to get into that. But we're going to wear a mask. So Millis making us wear a mask if we go to the state of New York. And if we get down to Laredo, get a bottle load, which I wish we would, but I doubt we'll get down there. Um... Laredo, Texas is making you wear them as well. And if you don't, it's a $1,000 fine down Laredo, I know. So, anyways, hey, that's it for right now. I rambled enough. We'll check in a little bit later on. We got a load, but first, guys, just want to show you the Football Hall of Fame. Pro Football Hall of Fame. Right over here. There it is. American flags. And there are the 2020 guys that are going in to the Football Hall of Fame. This is the Football Hall of Fame and the 2020 inductees, where I was looking for, um, to be entered. So, definitely a place on, on my bike. That's what I can see. But hey, we got a load. We're deadheaded in 290 miles. Well, it's about, two, about 330 because we came 30 miles south from our uh, last delivery. Closest place to find a truck stop to shave and shower and hang out so there's no loads available so we're heading up to 77 gonna get on the uh, 271 to east of Cleveland get on the 90 we're heading to Rochester New York yeah heading up there to grab a load um, to a place and then we're taking that down to Atlanta it's got a uh, next week delivery midweek so we're dropping it in Cartersville doesn't load until tomorrow morning 10 a.m. so in the comments below let me know if you think I'll be able to get us loaded tonight when we get there at 6.30, 7 o'clock. But we're going to have to wait for our 10 appointment tomorrow. Kind of interesting. Do you think I'm going to have good luck? Twice in one day? Or oh, I'd be refused and told to wait for my appointment. Well, folks, it's April 16th. It's blowing. We can barely stand up. We're in Rochester, New York. It must be negative 30 out here right now. Snowing. Good Lord Almighty! I thought this was springtime. This green grass. What's going on with this weather? Oh, we're trying to check in, but all the doors are locked. But there's vehicles here, so I don't think we're getting lowered tonight. Well, folks, can't believe it. We got here at 7:30. No one answered the door. Eight o'clock. There's a little red light over there on the side of the door where you like slide up key badge to get in. That turned green, so we went in, checked in. Our numbers don't match. Don't exist. No load. They're like, sorry. Let dispatch know way to hour, and now no explanation given, but I guess, um, I don't know who messed up, but someone made an error. So they're dead us over to Buffalo now. Back west, and then we're going to go to University Park in Illinois to drop this off at Smuckers and we'll be over there tonight. So, 
Not sure what the weekend will hold for us now. Well, I'll put us about 25 and a half, almost 2,600 miles. So at least we'll be in a good area, grab a load, and then probably have to deliver it on Monday, I'm guessing. So as long as we don't go back to Trenton, Ohio, stay the freak out of Ohio, I'll be happy. I'll let you know what's next. Good Saturday afternoon, everyone. Up here in Ridgefield, came out this morning because we got dispatched on our next load going to Coldwater, Michigan to Walmart, D.C. We got a 0 630 appointment, live on load tomorrow at Walmart, which is different for us. Usually it's dropping hook, but there's something different about this. I'll show you what's different about this load after I show you what we're going to do for dinner here. We're going to do chicken and dumplings, and up in the uh, right hand corner, left hand corner, on a one way, one corner of the screen, I'll put the link to John's video. This is where I get the recipe from. He's the MTI instructor down in Eden. So let's get right into it. We're going to do chicken dumplings tonight in the slow cooker. So, what we're doing is we're going to take the chicken here and put the chicken in uh, the slow cooker. Hopefully, it'll be all right. I thought about this about three hours ago. I was going to do this. Got some chicken breasts, all they had at the store the other day. And it's still some, somewhat frozen, so hopefully it works and we don't have any issues with it. But what we got is two cans of cream of chicken. We'll pour that in there. Get a spoon, make sure we get it all out. Alrighty. Add the other can. That's gonna be good. I've been looking forward to this meal since I've seen John made it. So we add this other can in here. Make sure we get it all the goodness out of there. Now we're gonna add some water. Make sure we get everything out of the cans. Just add some water in here and just swish it around like that so we get everything. Okay. And then we're going to take the other can and do the same thing. Just add a little extra water there. There we go. And now we're gonna some, take some chicken broth and add that in there. And we want to make sure the chicken is completely covered because the dumplings that we'll add later will add um, will take up a lot of this juice. So that yeah, looks about good. Hopefully that's enough. And take this and swish it all around here. John added sweet onions to his. I'm not doing that. Um, just because I'm not doing it. Oops, splashing, making a mess here. Is add some pepper. It's good seasoning, don't need any salt. As John said, it's a lot of sodium in it, so. If we need salt, we'll add salt later, but good amount of pepper in there. Hopefully that's not too much. Never can have too much pepper or spice, in my opinion. So there we got it. We're gonna pop it on and let it cook uh, for about six hours. Might be a little bit longer because the chicken's frozen. And then we'll come back to you on the next step when we add the dumplings. Alrighty. You see anything different about this? It's not a Miller's trailer. But it's hooked to baby girl. That's right, we got the A-OK. -okay. I don't know if we picked the load up or if a Heartland driver did and they couldn't deliver it. I don't know details, but we're hauling a Heartland trailer for this delivery to Michigan. So, nice little reflection. Yeah. So this is what's different about this load. I haven't heard of any other drivers hauling a Heartland trailer yet, but they might have. But this is a first for me. I'm stopping in Angola tonight at the Loves, get some showers in, and then head up there about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning and deliver this load.
almost forgot to show you guys. So we got the chicken out of the um, out of the crock pot here, and we're about to make the biscuits or the dumplings, I should say. All right, don't have much room here, but got the flour and um, double bag. David brought this because I couldn't find any flour, so I'm gonna put some flour in here on this plate here. And then we're gonna take some of our dough here. It's been def frozen, defrosted and everything. So you want a good size from, I believe, it's whatever you really want to make for a dumpling, I guess, really. So get the flour here and mix that up like that. And then you're gonna put it in your, um, in your mixture. So hopefully I don't make too much of a mess here. But I'm a Yankee, so probably some of you southern folks will be able to educate me or school me I'm doing something wrong or right or whatever so if I'm doing something wrong let me know alrighty we're back we got all the dumplings made and we're making a pretty good mess right here this is turn the pot here yeah, yeah we're gonna just dump them in the water or on the the broth and the what we were cooking them in the chicken in. We're just gonna gently with the back of our fork here, make sure they all get covered. And hopefully it's not too much, too many of them in here, but we'll find out, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna clean up this mess and I'll check back in in a little bit when we check on it. Alrighty, just a quick little update. They didn't come up very well. I put way too many dumplings in it. I failed at this. Um, well, I'll know next time, so. Live and learn. What's going on, everyone? It is Sunday night. We are here in Ridgefield. Just got done doing my laundry. Did my clothes and sheets and pillowcases. Walking back over the truck now. We got pre-planned. Well, I should say I have a pre-planned. Uh, my student's no longer with me. And so I'm on my own again. And uh, we are picking up at West Alice, doing a short load in the morning. Then we're going to get reloaded in uh, Milwaukee at 10th Street Brewery. And then we're heading down to Trenton, drop it. So I'm going to go back to the truck, put it back together, get some dinner, go to bed. And we'll check in with you tomorrow morning. <laughs> in here and come up here and then not hit the other Miller's truck that's in the dock over there and then back in there. Not bad, you can back in here but you're always concerned about your blind side that you can't see that other truck but when that light turns red and it turns back green we'll be good to go and head to Trenton. We'll catch you guys later on. Well we're loaded with 43,000 pounds of blue moon light sky. Yeah. Came back here to put some straps on it, but don't need any straps on this, so it is what it is. It's nicely secure and ain't going anywhere. Get the background of the Milwaukee skyline in the background here. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, all right? We'll catch you next week, everyone. Thanks for watching again. The Navigator is out.